You're late. Did you not hear the master's call? Of course I did. I'm here, aren't I? Now get digging. It's time to free the master. Veronica Lodge saves the world from vampires? You've got to be kidding me. Poor Reggie just can't stand it when he's not the center of attention. <laughs> so you're telling me Veronica was the chosen one and prevented a reign of vampires with her mystical sunstone amulet? Where was I when all this happened? You know how it goes, Reggie. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> Hi, Archie. Hey, girls. Say, Veronica, why aren't you wearing the sunstone? Please, that thing's a fashion don't. Besides, I'm trying to put all that vampire stuff behind me. Ooh! Hey! So where is your magic necklace? Safely tucked away. In a safety deposit box? Or in one of your father's vaults? Even better, it's in a shoebox. What's so safe about that? You'd have a better chance of finding a needle in a haystack the size of Riverdale than finding just one shoebox in Veronica's closet. Which reminds me, I picked up the cutest pair of pumps to wear on our day tonight, Archikin. Archie's taking me to La Cha Ching for dinner and dancing. I am? Well, sure. Doesn't your weird mystery cover girl deserve a night on the town? Speak now or forever hold your wallet. Well, I guess you did save the world from the unholy hordes of darkness. Okay, Ronnie, you're on. Ooh, wear your best suit. And I want your word that you won't be late. Okay, eight o'clock sharp, I promise. I mean it, Archie. Smithers is on vacation, and my parents are going to some charity banquet. After all this creepy vampire stuff, I'd rather not get stuck alone at night in that big old mansion. I promise, Veronica. In fact, I give you my super sacred word. You'll be as safe as a necklace in a shoebox. <gasps> the master returns. <laughs> Medlock, my dark master! I've missed you so. Ah, my precious Scarlet. <laughs> For centuries I've been safely buried deep in the ground, waiting. Waiting for this, the eve of my most glorious triumph. Finally, the eternal night of the vampires is upon us! Tomorrow night, on Halloween, the sun will set and never rise again. The prophecy will come to pass, and by your guiding hand, vampires will reign over the darkness. That is, of course, my dear Scarlet, if you have completed your task and taken care of the Chosen One? Ah, yes. The Ender. The only person who can end the Eternal Night. I managed to determine the Ender's identity. However, I didn't have time to convert her. Scarlet had her chance. Allow me that honor, Master. So be it, Nil News. And the name of this Ender, my darling? Veronica Lodge. Well, then, I believe someone has a date with Miss Veronica Lodge. Hmm. Uh, uh. Perfect, and not a minute to spare. <gasps> Well, don't you just look handsome? Let me get a picture before you go. Sorry, Mom. I gave Veronica my super sacred word that I wouldn't be late. All right, then. Keeping your word is more important than a few glamour shots. Then again, I am looking pretty good. I'm sure Veronica won't mind if I'm just a few minutes late. You 
You gave me your word. Where are you? One more? Huh? Aren't you going to be late enough as it is? You have a good time, dear. See you later. Ah! Oh no, my suit! It's ruined. My dinner's not looking too good either. Ugh, what's that smell? Pop Tate's newest culinary delight, the roasted spicy garlic burger. Oh, that's it. Jughead, what are you and your garlic breath doing here anyway? Sorry, Arch. I thought I'd see if you want to catch a movie. Aw, Jug. I'm supposed to be taking Veronica to La Cha Ching. La Cha Ching? Not like that you aren't. No kidding. What am I going to do? This is my best suit. My only suit. Lodge residence. <laughs> well, what are you doing at Jughead's? It's a long story. I promise I'll make it up to you. You're always making promises you don't keep. You gave me your super sacred word. Now it's night and I'm stuck in this creepy house all alone. Relax, Veronica. Nothing's going to happen to you. Just get here soon, okay? <sighs> Are you sure I don't look goofy? Compared to wearing a meal, you look great. About time. Come in. I said come in. Huh? <gasps> Stupid Archie. Breaks his promise and now I'm so creeped out I'm hearing things and... Sorry I'm late. These are for you. Why, Archikins, they're simply to die for. Veronica? You're late. And what's up with that suit? It's a long story. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Archikins. I still think you look delicious. That's my new friend, Nil News. But enough small talk. Let's skip right to dinner. Oh. What? There will be plenty of time for that later. But I want to bite Archie now. And then I want to bite that goody goody Betty. And Reggie. And Jughead. And. Uh, maybe not Jughead. But definitely Archie. Maybe you ought to listen to your new friend there. <laughs> Come. Veronica Lodge, the master awaits. Veronica, don't go! What have I done? And to think I gave my super sacred word. If I hadn't broken my promise and gotten here on time, none of this would have happened. Medlock, how old are you now? Nine hundred years? Uh, give or take a decade. Well, you don't look a century over six hundred. When the eternal night falls, there will be no more aging for any of us. We will stay forever young. And I will live forever by your side. In fact, I'd spend eternity with you even if you did grow old and toothless. Ah, Scarlet, there will never be another one like you. Veronica Lodge, once the chosen one, 
now a vampire and servant of Medlock. Well done, Nildus. With the Ender turned, nothing can stop us now. Welcome to the fold, my child. I can see why you're the master. <laughs> yes, well... So we meet again, Ender. Scarlet, I thought I destroyed you the last time we met. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but I'm still around, girly. Now, Scarlet, that's no way to treat our beautiful new friend. I never would have thought the Ender could be so alluring. Oh, why, Medlock? I didn't know a vampire could be such a gentleman. Medlock! Not now, Scarlet. I want to give Miss Lodge a little tour of her new home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting some new vamp get between me and my love. <laughs> <laughs> now, Veronica, I understand you have a special amulet, the Sunstone. suit, Romeo. You think it looks good on him? You should see it on my Uncle Ahern. Shouldn't you be on your date with Veronica? <sighs> it's my fault. All my fault. Veronica. Vampires. Veronica? Vampires? Archie, now just take a deep breath. What's going on? <sighs> the vampires are back. They got Veronica. She wanted to show up on time and I didn't. Now she's one of them. <gasps> oh, come on. Get real. Veronica's not a vampire. Yes. Huh? Huh? I'm afraid she is. Scarlet? Scarlet? Vampire! <sighs> surprise, surprise. Well, it's just like a little reunion. But, but Scarlet, I thought we saw Veronica zap you with the sunstone. That's exactly what happened. You thought you saw me get sapped. <laughs> Cross of silver, ray of light, in Ender's hand shall end the night. In reality, I transformed myself into mist before the deadly light of the sunstone could touch me. I wasn't being blasted into mist. I was actually escaping as a mist. And now you're back for revenge. Ugh. Look, huh? we don't have time for this. Do you want to save your annoying friend or not? Huh? What are you talking about? If you can destroy Nil News, Ugh. the vampire who turned her, she'll become human again. Huh? But she's only got an hour before the vampire spell becomes permanent, and then it will be too late. Veronica's the chosen one, the only person who can stop your master's eternal night. Why would you want to help us save her? Let's just say I see little point in an eternal night if I have to spend it with an eternal pain in the neck. Wow! Veronica's so annoying that even the vampires don't want her. I don't trust that, Scarlet. Neither do I. But if I had kept my word, Veronica wouldn't be in this mess. I have to try to save her. Okay, what do you want me to do? I'll bring Nil News to the high school in a half an hour. If you want to save Veronica, you know what to do. I hope you know what to do, because I have no idea. Ugh. What you need to do is take a breath mint. Those garlic burgers are lethal. Mm-hmm. Oh. I see Reggie's up again. Ugh. Ugh. And down again. Wait a minute. That gives me an idea on how to handle that vampire. What can I do to help? You've been in Veronica's closet before. Betty, see if you can find where she hid the sunstone. 
If we can save Veronica, she's going to need it to prevent the Eternal Night. And if we can't, well, we need to keep her from letting the vampires get their talons on it. What about you three? We're going to prepare for battle. Keep eating. I don't get it. We're supposed to destroy a vampire, and your big plan is to eat like Jughead? Works for me. Don't you ever read my weird mystery column? I don't think this is the time to lecture me on my reading habit. The garlic, Reggie. Vampires can't handle garlic. And when Nil News gets a whiff of this garlic burger breath, we've got him. Shh. There they are. All right, we're here. Now, just what did you want to show me? Dinner. <laughs> Now to find the sunstone in one of these shoe boxes. Are you sure this is gonna work? Maybe. I've got one more burger to spare. Relax, Jughead. I don't think the Master will be causing any more trouble now. With the Sunstone gone and the Master a withered ghoul, the vampires were no longer a threat. Scarlet loved Medlock just the same and kept her word to take care of him, even though he was old and toothless. As for me, I'll never forget how I almost lost Veronica that night just by breaking one little promise. You can be sure this is one boy who from now on always keeps his word, and his super sacred word, in a little town called Riverdale. 